hello youtube family welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hey if you would like to get all some all the little tips and gems for the free 99 go ahead and hit that subscribe button you guys this is my free information so listen right now today's video is how to fill out a usps that stands for united states postal service you see it at the top? USPS is for short. Now, I googled an example of a UK address. Ooh. I googled an example of an address that we can use so I can show you how to properly fill it out. You can go to your post office and you can ask for a form. Now, with this form, you guys, you cannot scratch out anything. If you make an error, you're going to have to get a whole nother form. Trust me, you don't want to go through this form and your package being rejected. Because once it hit custom and it has an error and they reject it, you're going to have to pay for the shipping costs again. So, let's go. So, let's say we're going to start with the sender. The sender is you. So, let's say the sender... You don't want to put your name, but you want to put your business. You could put your business right here. Let's say my name is Ashley, right? I don't want to put Ashley. I don't want to put Ashley Brown. I want to put hidden agenda. So I will put hidden agenda, which is my business right here. You see it? So you have an option. You could do both. You can put your business name and your first and your last name if you want or you can just put your first and your last name right here is the sender the sender is you because you are sending it out let's say my number is five 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 one two three four five six seven i put that right there right my address this is all the sender's information this right here in between this black block and this block. This is all the sender's information. So my address, let's do my PO box. Never put your regular address right here. So my PO box, I will put right here on address number one. Let's say I lived in an apartment. I will put my apartment address right here. And where it says address number two, I will put the apartment number. The city and state is Fort Mill. 29716, right? Now, right here, the address information, addri well, I said it wrong. Anyway, this is for the person. So now let's say that we're sending it to Michael Brown. You see where it says full last name? So we're going to say his last name is Brown. Right here, his first name is Tom. Well, we said Michael. So let's put Michael, right? Let's say he was sending it to his business instead of to himself. We could put his business name right here and his telephone number right here. So let's say his telephone number is one, four, six, two, three, four, eight, one, eight, one. We put that right here. His address. Now, we Googled. I Googled an uh, address example of London. Someone in London. Right? So, where it says postal code. You see where it says the postal code? We're going to put that right there where it says postal code. So, we will put E, C, 1, Y, 8, S Y right there. So people in international and other countries, more than likely they have a postal code. The country, you see where it says the country right here? You will put United Kingdom. You see it right here. The state. Where's the state? Uh, I think the city is London. 
Wait, let me make sure I'm doing this right. The address. Let's use this address. Let's go to the address. So right here, address number one, we're going to put 49 F-E-A-T-H-E-R Stone Street. Right? I want to say London will be right here. I think London will be right here where it says city. Double check with your local post office once you are doing this. But I think I'm right going from this example. This is a fake example. This is not an actual customer's address. Okay? I'm using it as an example. So now right here, double check on this part with your um, local post office. Now, right here where it says shipment information. The category, is it a document? Is it a gift? Is it a return item? Is it merchandise? I don't even know what that word is. Is it dangerous goods or is it other? I put gift. The reason why I put gift is a lot of people that live international, they have to pay a lot of port taxes and port fees. So I just put it as a gift. Now, Sorry, I had to have a drink of water. Detailed description of content. This means whatever is in that package, you need to put right here. So I sell swimwear or patterns. So let's put patterns right here, right? Quantity. How many patterns is in that package? Let's say 10. How much it weigh? You can tell the weight. It literally. You can tell the weight of the package by the scale. If you sitting it on a scale, or if you at the post office, they can weigh it for you, and then you can fill in that right here. It then it says value. How much is this package worth? Whatever dollar amount you put this package worth you're gonna have to put it down here as well. So let's say this package is, you're selling the product, you're, I'm selling my patterns for, let's say it's a pack of 10. It will be worth $250, right? But I don't wanna put $250 because they're gonna have to pay tax duties on that $250. So I put lower, so I will put $20. <clears throat> So right here, I will put $20. So now whenever they go to pick their up their package or get their package, their duty taxes is gonna be way cheaper. Does that make sense? Because to me, it's just paper. So even though it's a pattern, it's still just paper. So I'll take that loss. Does that make sense? So where they can have that gain and they can have a cheaper fee to not have to pay so much. So this is how you completely do a custom form. Don't scratch out anything. Don't touch nothing on this side. This side is what your post office person is going to take care of. And then come on. Um so the once you hand this to them like this, you double check everything. You make sure Everything is filled out completely right to whatever your customer told you. Your customer should have sent you their address. Anytime you're getting any information from your customer, you want to have their first, their last name, their full shipping address. That means their full um, number to their house, their street name, their city and state, zip code, country, all of that. Match it up to whatever they gave you. Put it here. Once you give it to the post office people, what they're going to do, they're going to take this part off, right? They're going to take this part off. So you see where it bled through? They're going to put this part onto the package. And they're going to have a code. 
it's going to be a tracking number right here that they will be able to give you. And this will be your copy. The post office will keep this copy. The post office will put this onto the package. You see where it says barcode label here? They will print you a label right here. And that will be the tracking number that you give your customers. Most of the time it start with US something, but that will be the tracking number. And you literally just send your clients a copy of that tracking number, and then they can track that package. All they will have to do is go to USPS.com and type in that tracking number that will be right there. And it will track their package from the day that you ship it out and they scan it in until it comes to their door and you can track it as well. So I hope this video was helpful for y'all. If you have any um, further questions, definitely comment below. Um, like I said, I really hope this was helpful. I know a lot of people don't understand how to do it. So here you go. Free information. Please do not forget. If any value came from this video, just give it a thumbs up. That way you can get more content. But a free 99. And I'll talk to y'all later.